series after two heavy defeats in the Caribbean, but Root says that it's easy to forget England's recent successes. I think we've got a lot of guys that don't shirk responsibility that take it on themselves when they, they haven't performed well and I think they're great qualities to have because as soon as you start blaming other people you're not helping anyone you're definitely not helping yourself. England captain Joe Root there and the medals for the Tokyo Olympics will bring a new meaning to an Olympic ring that's because they'll be made out of recycled mobile phones and gadgets nearly 50,000 tons of used gizmos will be used to make the medals it might get some people outdoors for a change John that's all your sport more in 20. Thank you very much Ollie. This is LBC London News. The reason that we're hearing that is, of course, the uh, official Nelson Mandela opened at the Waterloo Graffiti Tunnels at the 26 Leak Street Gallery. Uh, it is, of course, the story of his life, the uh, first president of post-apartheid South Africa. It features previously unseen film, photos, and more than 150 historical artefacts and personal possessions of his. It also celebrates his links with London. His grandson, Chief Nkose Zvelzvele Mandela, is the exhibition's co-executive producer, and uh, I caught up with him a little earlier in the week. This exhibition is about my grandfather's uh, life and uh, experiences. It is. Uh, uh, it starts from Matiba's birthplace in Mvezokomkulu, which is a tiny village on the banks of Mpashe River, growing up in Kulu and in Mpagezweni, and how Matiba came from those humble beginnings to being a global icon. And in doing so, Matiba dedicated 67 years of his life serving humanity. He was a voice for justice, peace, and human rights. And that now he's no more. The onus is on us to champion the values and principles that Madiba proudly stood for. Was it quite interesting being involved in putting the exhibition together? Absolutely. Uh, you know, for me, uh, being Madiba's eldest grandson, 